I love candles. Anywhere, any place. Very relaxing. And uh, speaking of relaxing, I do have a day off. But can you believe that? They actually gave me a day off. So with this day off, I figured I'm going to make a video for y'all. And uh, we're going to have another dinner. It's been a while. So today I am going to do a crab meat stuffing stuffed cod. Um, again, it's, it's, it's stuff hits me when I'm in the store. Uh, I was walking by the fish section there and they had some beautiful admiral cut uh, loins, uh, cod loins. And right next to it they had um, uh, pre-made uh, crab stuffing, uh, crab meat stuffing. And uh, it's the same stuff that they use to stuff the mushrooms with, the same company, and I really like it. So uh, being quick and easy is great for me. Normally I like to make my own coleslaw, I like to make my own stuffing and everything else, but that's for when I have more than one day off. So uh, anyway, I, I got these, and what we're going to do today is we're going to stuff that cod uh, admiral loin with the crab stuffing. And uh, I'm going to serve it with some store-bought coleslaw, again, quick and easy. And uh, I'm going to do a appetizer of some cold shrimp. Uh, I'm going to get some chilled shrimp on ice with some cocktail sauce, and that would be really nice, I think, to have as an appetizer to go with the, uh, the main meal. So uh, let's get up to the kitchen and let's start cooking this. The first thing I'm going to do is take this cod loin, uh, this admiral cut loin. Look at how beautiful that is. It's about three fingers thick at the thickest part. And I just, I admire a good piece of fish. So I mean, wow. So I'm going to put the, the thickest part down and I'm going to bring the, the thinner part up. And I'm going to just get a knife and I'm going to butterfly this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it uh, almost all the way through but I'm going to open it up like a book when I get a little bit further down I'm going to kind of open it a little bit and just kind of run the knife lightly uh, across it and not to cut all the way through but I just want to open it up and it makes a nice little pocket right there for um, the crab meat now the crab meat I'm going to use today is Onofrio's crab meat stuffing uh, it's got imitation crab meat in it you can certainly make fresh um, but this is going to be quick and easy. But before I put the crab meat down, I'm just going to give it a quick um, dose of some ground black pepper. And uh, just a nice coating in there. And you can put whatever you want. You can put some smoked paprika or whatever you'd like inside of it. But uh, we are now ready for the crab meat. So i got a handful of it here. And I am just going to put it right down into that cavern, that pocket there. And I'm going to pack it in pretty good. So, um, just get another little quick handful. And you kind of want to get it down into that crevice. And you also want to spread it out a little bit in the, the, up at the top. But you want to leave enough space so that you can bring this up. And you can uh, close, touch the two ends together. Now this will form a little bit more when you try to roll it up. You can kind of squeeze it together. Um, but uh, basically that's it. Here's just another quick look at how I had it stuffed. And when I bring the ends together, uh, I can just touch them together. And we're not cut all the way through. But uh, now what I want to do is get these together. I'm going to use some toothpicks. Now see how it doesn't close really fully here, but I can squeeze it and it kind of forms. It gives a little, it gives a little bit, so it's a little forgiving. But anyway, we're going to just get some uh, uh, toothpicks and we're just going to try to suture this closed a little bit. And uh, we're going to close everything right up around that stuffing. Well, it took a little, a few toothpicks, but as you can see here, we got it all closed up. A little bit sticking out the end there and I kind of sealed off the back part but it's closed up pretty much for the most part so now we're going to move on and get a, uh, a roasting pan to put this in well 
Before I do that though, I want to, this is optional, but it really keeps the moisture in. I'm going to take a teaspoon of uh, mayonnaise. I use the Sir Kensington's. And I'm just going to gently massage this like suntan lotion. Um, I'm just going to massage it gently right onto the fish and uh, get it in all the nooks and crannies. Give it a little bit of a massage and, and really treat it with the respect that it deserves. So once we've got this well coated, then the next step is I've sliced up some onion and we're going to put that on the bottom of a casserole dish that'll, that's just big enough for the fish. So I'm going to spread a little olive oil and then I'm going to put the onion down. Now what's great about this is the juices come down on top of the onion and it softens the onion. So the onions themselves after the meal are, are delicious to, to go with the fish. But it also keeps it from sticking. So um, I just kind of spread it out there. It holds it up off the, uh, the bottom of the pan a little bit. Gives a little more circulation as well. And I'm going to lay the fish right down on top of there. Oh, it's beautiful. So next I'm going to grab some panko breadcrumbs. And you can go breadless breadcrumbs if you want. But uh, I'm only going to use uh, a little bit of this. And I'm going to sprinkle it around and get it coated kind of on the sides and in the back and this is going to give it that that little bit of a crunchy texture and it uh, I, I sprayed it with a little olive oil prior to putting the lemons on which didn't show up in the video but i just gave it a quick spray and then i put the onion out and now what we're going to do is we've got to look for the probe so Electric probe is everything. We're just gonna, gonna slide that right in to the deepest part. And normally this cod, if it was just the loin, it would be okay at about 155 degrees, but because it's stuffed, uh, the USDA or whatever requires that it goes up to 165 to make sure it's safe. So we're gonna do this to 165. So we're gonna drop it in a 350 degree preheated oven, slide it in there, now I'm just going to prep the appetizer here. I've got a fancy little dish with some crushed ice and uh, I also added some sugar-free ketchup with fresh horseradish and stirred that all together. And now I'm just going to lay down some boiled uh, chilled shrimp. It's going to be so clean, so refreshing, so uh, tasty and light. Uh, it's going to be a perfect appetizer for myself. Light refreshing easy mm. so I've got the cod out of the oven it's 165 it's split a little bit some of the stuffing there but uh, that's okay we're gonna remove some toothpicks and uh, we're gonna get ready to plate this for right now I've got my little appetizer plate on the scale and I'm just gonna take a small portion of that uh, stuffed cod and I'm going to place it right down there on the plate. Now to add just a little bit of coleslaw. And I'm going to bring this whole thing up to about six ounces for um, total weight. So that's with the cod and the stuffing and the uh, coleslaw. I'm going to just add a little bit of garnish. And uh, we are ready. This is good. So here it is. Crab meat stuffed baked cod with coleslaw. And that's a great dinner right there. Let's give it a try. Wow. This is just cooked so perfectly. It's so flaky. And I can see that the inside is tender and moist. Look at that. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh my goodness. That's all mouse. It really is. The uh, 
the beautiful tenderness of the fish, the flakiness, and that sweet, silky uh, stuffing. It's just, man. Go for the coleslaw. It's amazing. Please give this a try. If you can't find the Admiral cut loins that we cut and opened up, I imagine this would work with the thinner, longer, flat pieces. And just kind of do a roll up. Um, roll up the, the crab meat, put it down there, and just kind of roll the fish up over it, you know, and, and, and pen it that way and put it in the oven. So uh, that's all I got for you right now, but uh, it's a delicious dish, and I, I do hope you try it. Um, it's, it's very tasty. So crab meat stuffed uh, cod loin. And my appetizer. How can you go wrong with ice chilled shrimp, some sugar free ketchup, and some fresh horseradish mixed in to make the cocktail sauce? Wow. Anyway, please try this. Enjoy it. It's good. It's real good. <laughs>